Breaking news in Clay County right now where we're on top of two big stories, including a home invasion. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Phil Amato. And I'm Letitia Barriola in for Don Lopez. We'll get to that story in less than a minute. But first, we want to get you up to date on a local sheriff sex scandal. Just in the last 30 minutes, the Clay County Sheriff's Office held a press conference about that home invasion. But we pushed for some answers on, and an update on the investigation involving Sheriff Daryl Daniels. Action News Jack Courtney. Cole joins us live from outside the sheriff's department there. And Courtney, the sheriff walked away from you. And just here at the Clay County Sheriff's Office headquarters is where Sheriff Daniels is helping to facilitate a press conference about that home invasion. But as soon as he was done saying that, we all had questions about the extramarital affair that we have been following since last month. Take a look at what happened when we asked him if he was taking questions. So, without further ado, I introduce Assistant Chief Smith, and he will close it out. Thank you all for coming. Sheriff, are you taking Sheriff, questions? Are you able to take no, any questions? Not. And you can see, you can see that Sheriff Daniels immediately walks out of the frame. We tried to move the camera to show you. We were all in pretty close quarters there, but he quickly walked out of the room and does not acknowledge any of our questions. This all comes following the accusations that Sierra Smith stalked him. Accusations of having sexual relations with Smith while she was in uniform and that Sheriff Daniel spent more than $30,000 on Smith. Now, the Clay County Sheriff's Office did tell us that the, the suspects in the home invasion that happened at Le Eagles Landing, this is in the Oak Leaf subdivision, all of those suspects are in jail right now. And on Action News Jax at 5, we're going to take a closer look at those suspects, their history, and we're talking about the one tool that made the victim in that home invasion more vulnerable, and it's a tool that we all use. We'll take a closer look at that on Action News Jax at 5. Reporting live at the Clay County headquarters, Courtney Cole, CBS 47, Action News Jax.